Well, hello everybody. <laughs> it's uh, Mike again, your favorite uh, <laughs> Kangal documentary series. Mike, Kyle, and Mika. And as you can see, we are in a rather low energy mode after a very exciting day yesterday. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around a bit. Uh, again, it's a very warm day in Malta uh, and very high humidity. So uh, there's uh, really not much we can do except just relax in the uh, air conditioning. And um, hold on, I'm trying to get this camera. Sorry about all that. Uh, and just, uh, you know, wait till the evening so they can go outside and romp around and uh, play fight. Um, today, I, I'm going to make a video. Uh, first of all, again, I want to say, as I always do, how much fun I'm having doing this and uh, how much pleasure and enjoyment I'm getting out of it, really. I never, never imagined. It's, it's, it's becoming a hobby, almost, uh, for me. And being retired, um, it's a great way for me to spend my time. So uh, thank you, and I really appreciate all the comments. Uh, the subscriptions are going through the roof. Uh, and, you know, I don't usually ask for subscriptions or things like that because I'm not in it for the money. Uh, I, some of my videos now, when you click on them, uh, I'm starting to see uh, advertisements for games, for travel, for, you know, and uh, I'm assuming at some point I can uh, do something on YouTube. And again, this, is, this shows you how stupid I am on this stuff, uh, where I can actually... Um, uh, make an account and, and get some money. I don't even think I'm going to do that, though, to be honest with you. Uh, I might and I might not because it, it's not what this is about. Uh, today I have kind of a not-so-nice video. I, I had to do something today which I never really imagined I, I, I would do, uh, which is to delete a comment. Uh, now, the comment <clears throat> wasn't bad or uh, bad words or anything like that. But it was almost like a rant, and um, and I mean I've had other comments. I had you know I had people tell me uh, I'm wrong, especially about the corrective collars. Uh, a lot of people are unhappy about that video, even though it, you could see in the video that the dogs had no problem. There was no uh, nothing wrong at it with all. But you know I respect uh, opinions and I respect opposing opinions uh, because that's how I'm going to learn as well. But this guy. Uh, just he said a lot of things that that I agree with, uh, and which I wish I'll go through. But he also I thought I think went too far. And um, to be honest with you, the main reason that I decided to delete it uh, was because we had talked to a breeder that sounded like this guy, and uh, uh, and if it was for that breeder, I would never have the joy and. Uh, love and experience that I get from these two beautiful God-given creatures uh, called Kangas. So, uh, and I would hate for someone to uh, read this, this rant, this, you know, long rant about why, you know, we should never um, have Kangals as pets and companions, why they, they only belong on a ranch, why uh, uh, all these things. Uh, so, uh, he, he said things like, for example, not all Kangles are like my two Kangles. Well, I mean, uh, not even my two Kangles are the same. I don't think there's one Kangal who is the same as it as another Kangal. Sorry about the um, the way I said Kangal, by the way. I uh, apologize. It's Kangal. Um, but anyway, um, he said a lot of things that not only do I agree with, uh, that I have also stated very clearly and very emphatically, which is, these dogs are not, I repeat, not for everyone. I made it very clear on several videos, not just one, because no matter how many times I say it, it seems like there's always some guy comes out of the woodwork or some person comes out of the woodwork and uh, like this last guy that I had to delete that uh, believes that these, these dogs can only exist and should only exist and were created only to exist on the side of a mountain in Turkey um, guarding livestock. Um, and so I'll repeat one more time. In a perfect world, 
that's where they belong. Uh, and I made some examples of in a perfect world where I would like to belong, uh, and I'm not going to repeat them now. Uh, but this is not a perfect world. And uh, he also accused me of, uh, and, and this was similar to what happened with that uh, Scotland Kangal, Kangal group, which is uh, to be accused of me promoting these dogs as pets, which will create this uh, enormous problem of people uh, discarding the dogs uh, into shelters because they cannot handle them. This, I hope... <laughs> I really hope, and I, I, I'm pretty sure that most of you realize that's not what I want. It's the opposite, actually. I, uh, what I want is happy dogs and happy owners. Um, but I also don't want to discourage people, like myself, uh, to get these dogs, because they will give you an experience of a lifetime. I mean, and again, I'm talking about someone that I've had several different breeds of dogs over 50 years of my life, uh, and as much as I loved the labs that I had to death, uh, as much as I loved the German Shepherds and the Malamutes that I've had, I'm sorry uh, to them, and I'm sure they, they're they hearing me up there and they know how much I love them, but these dogs are, are really special, these, these Kangal. So uh, I don't want to deprive anybody of this, but I'm going to say again, these dogs are not for everybody. They are definitely not for a first-time dog owner. They are definitely not a city dog. They are definitely not an apartment dog, um, and especially not an apartment in a city dog. That is a huge no-no, okay? So uh, I, I don't want to make this a very long video, but uh, I have to keep repeating this apparently. Uh, this, is, this is a whole new experience for me, you know? Um, and, and as I said, I've really enjoyed it. I feel like, I don't know if you guys, <laughs> some of you younger people don't remember this, but there was a show called, uh, 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 wild something wild. Uh, uh, and it was Marlon Perkins, this old guy, uh, who would, uh, travel all over the world, uh, with, with his, with his assistant, Jim. And, uh, the joke, uh, the joke around all the drinking fountains was that this old guy would say, okay, like for example, now um, we're going to uh, watch Jim wrestle an alligator. <laughs> and poor Jim would get on his wading boots and go down into the pond and wrestle this huge fucking alligator. Uh, and he did it, you know, again, we're, today we're in the woods and there are uh, half a dozen grizzly bears with cups. And Jim today will, will go into the into the woods and wrestle the grizzly bears. It, I'm telling you, it was it was a great show. Uh, maybe some of you can uh, remind me what the name of it was. It was Nash, not National Geographic, but something like that. And it was hysterical. And uh, Jim survived. <laughs> not sure how he, but he survived. And um, <laughs> Marlon Perkins and Jim something. And uh, he ended up, after Jim passed away, uh, uh, he ended up continuing the show. And it was a wonderful, wonderful show in the 70s. I think it was 60s, 70s, 70s, early 80s. Uh, it was the closest thing to Richard Attenborough and, uh, and all the BBC documentaries. It was amazing. And uh, for me, as, as, a, as a young man, child or, or kid growing up, I loved that show because uh, I've always loved animals. So... <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I forgot where I where I where I, where I was, but anyway, um, people, please. Uh, uh, I, I really don't want to delete comments, and and and, and as I said, uh, I wouldn't have deleted this comment if he was just raising these concerns, because I do not want uh, any of not one of these beautiful dogs to be surrendered to a uh, shelter, and I've had um, pretty heated discussions in Kangal groups on Facebook, where uh, people buy. Uh, especially a younger couple, uh, buy these dogs on emotion, you know. Oh, how cute. Little, look at this little bear, you know. And, uh, you know, three months later, uh, they're panicking because they have a 50-kilo puppy. You know, like, oh, my God, there's a surprise, you know. You know, a surprise to me is a big screen TV under the Christmas tree, not a 50-kilo Kangal puppy. Um, 
But anyway, uh, I, I, I regress. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, so I, I, don't, I, I don't want that either. But he uh, kind of went off the deep end, so to speak. And uh, I'm not going to mention his name, uh, but if you're watching this, again, uh, I, had to, I felt like I had to delete it because it was just too much over the top. Uh, I agree with you. Uh, we need to be careful about getting these dogs. We need to make sure they are happy. Uh, because if they're unhappy, I guarantee you the owner is going to be very unhappy because these dogs uh, can become destructive on steroids. I mean, they will eat the kitchen counter if they feel like it. It's, you know, I'm not exaggerating. Uh, but on the other hand, um, if you uh, have had dogs in the past, you have some experience with dogs, you don't need to be a professional. I, I wasn't a professional. I just was a dog owner, a dog lover. So um, and, and you want to get one of these dogs and, uh, you know, you've done your homework. Very important. Do your homework. And he said that also, he said, uh, don't, he said, you know, don't listen to this guy and don't listen to me. Uh, he said, do your homework. And I agree with him. Do your homework, ask questions, ask me anything you want. I'll be happy to share it with you. But, um, but get them if you want them. And if you can, if you feel like you have the resources, very important resources as in time you got to have the time to dedicate to these dogs you cannot just buy them and leave them that is a huge mistake so you have to have the resources which is time and also the space both the space in your home and uh, a place for them to uh, run uh, preferably without the leash um, it, that may not always be possible uh, but if you have an enclosed area and yes, they do fine in a dog park if you take them when they're young. Uh, they do fine with other dogs, as I've shown on a million of my videos now. Uh, and I'm sorry if I sound frustrated, but I am. Uh, these dogs are not the evil wolf killers. They are not. That's what they were used for. That's maybe why God created them as, as a main purpose. But they are not. I, I'm going to switch the camera and show you uh, what, what a really vicious... Uh, wolf killer uh, I have here as my oriental and sphinx cat uh, will show you. Here's this vicious killer. Her name is Mika. Say hi Mika. Hi puppy. That's a good kid. And uh, a huge uh, Turkish lion here. Uh, I know most of you have seen them a lot, but you know, uh, I honestly believe you guys never get tired of seeing these guys. Kyle. Uh, beautiful boy here. So, um, yeah, uh, uh, don't hesitate to get them. Just do your homework, please, uh, and, uh, and ask questions and ask a lot of people. Don't just ask one person. Don't ask just one type of person or one type of owner. Ask a lot of people and then make a good decision. I guarantee you, I promise you, from my own experience with two different dogs, two totally different personalities of the dogs, that if you do this right, uh, and it's not that hard, uh, as I said, it's mostly an investment in time uh, because you have to spend time with them in the house and you have to spend time with them outside. Uh, if you do that, they will return your time tenfold with the most amazing love, affection, loyalty, and protection you will ever get from a canine. God bless you. Thank you for taking these 14 minutes to listen. Uh, and please uh, ask me anything you need to know. Uh, I'll, I'll be happy just to share what I know. Thank you. Bye-bye. <coughs>